Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve two examples, right? So here we have to find the value of limit. Limit z tends to 4i, z square plus 16 upon z minus 4i. So to find the value of this limit, there will be two ways. The first, you can directly put z is equal to 4i here. If you get the value, then that will be the value of limit. And if you get in determinate form, then we need to use some formulae and we have to simplify it. Let us see what will happen if I directly put z is equal to 4i here. Let us see. Okay. See, I'm doing that work in rough. So I'm going to put z is equal to 4i. 4i square plus 16 upon 4i minus 4i. So 4i square, 4 square 16 and i square is minus 1 plus 16 upon 4i minus 4i 0 minus 16 plus 16 0 0 upon 0 which is indeterminate form get it so that's why we cannot put the value directly we need to simplify it first let us see how to simplify so this is equal to limit z tends to 4i so what we have z square i am going to adjust minus sign here minus minus 16 upon z minus 4i right so this is equal to limit z tends to 4i z square minus see 16 is a square of 4 and minus is a square of i so this is 4i square getting my point 4 square is 16 and i square is minus 1 so that's why i could replace that minus 16 by 4i whole square divided by z minus 4i see we are familiar with this formula a square minus b square which is a plus b a minus b let us use this formula here then our numerator will be z tends to 4i see z plus 4i z minus 4i divided by z minus 4i so if i directly we can directly cancel this z minus 4i z minus 4i so actually that bracket was troubling us getting so because of that z minus 4i by putting z is equal to 4i we, are, we were getting that 0 upon 0 form but now we have cancel out uh, that bracket from numerator and denominator so what is the remaining part let me write here so this is equal to limit z tends to 4i z plus 4i so now we can easily put the value of z which is 4i so this is 4i plus 4i which is 8i so this is the value of this limit okay uh, make a screenshot of it then we will discuss second example so let us discuss this second example okay so we have to find the value of this limit limit z tends to i z is to 4 minus 1 upon z square minus 1 let us see what will happen if i directly put z is equal to i if I get indeterminate form, then only I will go for some calculations. Okay, otherwise I will directly put the value. So let us put directly and let us see what will happen. So at a place of z, I am going to put i. So i raised to 4 minus 1 here also i square minus 1. So we are familiar with higher powers of i. We have already seen in our previous videos. The value of i is minus 1. Its square is uh, root minus 1. This is and square is minus 1. i cube will be i square into i right so i square is minus 1 so this is minus i and i raised to 4 means basically i square into i square so i square is minus 1 and this i square is minus 1 minus minus plus 1 so in this way we got the uh, values of higher powers of i let us put those values here i raised to 4 is 1 right minus 1 and i square is minus 1 so i should write minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 here minus 2 0 upon minus 2 is 0 so 0 is a required uh, limiting value okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you